Today, we are going to be watching the top 10 craziest and tallest roller coasters in the entire world. This is going to be so cool once we get started. And I've actually never seen these roller coasters before. Well, I've actually seen one of them. So let's get ready to watch and let's get to it. Here we go. Located just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, for the 10th tallest coaster in the world. And that would be Orion. With a height of 287 feet, a length of 5,321 feet, so tall, one miles an hour, and is manufactured by BNM. This glorified hyper coaster features a great paint scheme. Okay, Orion is technically that is so dangerous for me. I'm not writing that one. Feet. Nope. Orion. Nope. The newest member of Two. It will most likely Two. Be the first big. To get dangerous and scary for me. Feet tall. But don't let this coaster fool you, because Orion features one of the best first drops in the entire world, in which riders That's take true. an insane 85 degree drop. Throughout the three minute ride, you're faced with large hills, giant drops, and a low to the ground speed hill. Number nine. All right, number nine. 305 at King's Dominion. Has a height of 305 feet, length. That's so tall! Feet, speed. Miles an hour and is I'm not writing that one either. King's Dominion's iconic Iggy coaster has been thrilling. Right Maybe I will. Since 2010, and this coaster will intimidate. Because red is a very here. cool color. Terminator 305. In my opinion, for that coaster. coaster to ever be built here in America, from the bottom of the first drop until the 32 passenger train reaches the final break room. Wait, did he, wait, did he just say this is the first ever roller coaster to be built in America? Um. How about we run? How about we? How about we rewind and and find out? Been riders ever since 2010, and this coaster will intimidate the crap out of you. Intimidator 305 was the second full circuit giga coaster to ever be built here in America. Darn it, I was wrong. The first drop until the 32 so it's the second giga coaster to be built in America. Intimidator 305 features one of the insane coaster layouts ever created. If you have a bucket list of coasters, then the Terminator 305 needs to be near the top of that list. Yeah. Number eight. Love Number eight. Then. Canada's Wonderland. Height, 306 feet. Length, 5,400 That is feet. so Speed, crazy. 92 miles an hour. Manufactured That is Canada. stupid, big. Canadians got a real treat when the largest park in Canada opened the country's tallest and fastest roller coaster. I love that Canada. tunnel. And personally, I think this coaster has one of the best names of any on this list. Leviathan is a great giga coaster that features a great layout full of airtime hills. That's so fast! Element over the park's entrance. There's a reason why Leviathan is the most... I would ride that one. I would definitely ride that one. Millennium Force, Cedar Point. Wait! Height. Wait! I remember this roller coaster! I, I wrote this one back in May 2022! I know this one! Millennium Forest is at Cedar Point! I knew this one was gonna be on this list! I mean, video. I knew it! It is so big! Millennium I'm never writing Millennium Force ever again. You know why? Because when I was on the- Because when I went on the first drop- because when I went on the very big drop, I literally passed out. I was like, I was like staring at the ocean at Lake, I was like staring at the, the ocean at Lake Erie. It was so crazy. All right, moving on. 310 feet, length 6,500. I remember writing this one two years ago. Miles an hour. It is manufactured by Intamin. The year 2000 was a crazy year for roller coasters. It Not was. Only did Six Flags open up That's so big. That year, but Cedar Point did the unthinkable when that was building a full circuit roller I'm never riding this coaster again because it's too time. scary. What's more remarkable is the fact that Cedar Especially Point with the first drop. This massive new coaster into the area of the park that they built it. Millennia Force is an adrenaline work of art that has been nominated as the best coaster in the world for decades now. That's Going true. The cable lift and looking out to the left and seeing Lake Erie get lower and lower and then looking to your right and seeing all the other coasters at Cedar Point diminishing in size is something every coaster fan needs to experience soon. Number six. All right, Still number six. 2000, located at Nagashima Spa Land. Height, 318 feet. Length, 8,133 feet. Speed, 95 miles an hour. It is manufactured by Morgan. 
Opening just That's so fast course, and tall. A piece of steel is not only the sixth tallest roller coaster in the world, it's also the longest one in the world. A record that hasn't been beaten for over 21 years now. 21 Story years? Features massive That's hills, crazy. A very unique turnaround element, bunny hills, and airtime galore as the train makes its way back to the station. While Steel Dragon 2000 is far from the best coaster on this list, it's still a fun bucket list ride thanks to those B&M trains. Number 5. Alright, number 5. Located in my backyard, because I'm located only about 10 That's a lot of wasps! Height, 325 feet. Length, 6,602 feet. Speed, 95 miles an hour. Manufactured by B&M. In 2015, the Carolinas were blessed with the longest steel coaster in America and the tallest roller coaster in the world that features a lift hill. Very three two very tall it does live up to the hype and dominates the Carolin skyline. 95 so itself, you will That's so crazy the first drop on a Giga coaster, back to back, quick low to the ground turns, and then you'll experience one of the best turnaround elements ever created that leads up to the high dive tunnel underneath the entry bridge. Fury 325 is filled with airtime hills, turns, a massive helix, and one of the best roller coaster crews you'll ever come across. Because the Fury crew hauls on their dispatches. That's so number crazy. Four, Red All right, number four. Ferrari Land at Port Aventura Resort. Hey, it looks like Top Thrill 2. 367 feet, length. 2,887 feet, speed 111 miles an hour. <gasps> the whole lift hill thing and utilizes a lot that is exactly like top thrill 2 rides max speed red forces 12 passenger trains take riders oh my goodness that is so insane seconds. and from the top of red force you'll be able to see all the park below you and the Balearic sea out in the distance that's cool number three Superman right number three from krypton six flags magic mountain Height that is so feet. big and let's talk about that here in a minute length 1,235 feet, speed what? 100 miles an hour, again, let's talk about that here in a minute, and it's manufactured by Intamin. Opening in 1997, this reverse freefall coaster was beyond our time, it seems. The trains launched 0 to 100 miles an hour, and back in 1997, that was pretty much the unthinkable. But now, let's address the elephant in the room here. When Superman first opened, the trains would reach the max speed of 100 miles an hour and travel pretty close to the top of the ride's tower. Fast forward to 2021, and it's clear that there's at least 75 feet of Oh, I can see some mountains in the, the distance. Train even reach. So in my opinion, Six Flags should give Superman some honest stats going forward. That's just my Very opinion. cool. Number two. All right, number two. Wait! Height four. I've seen this one before! It's Top Thrill Dragster! I'm never ready, Top Thrill. It is so scary. Okay? Too scary. Very. 420 feet. Length, 2,800 feet. Speed, 120 miles an hour. I already know that. By Intamin. Three years after Millennium Force opened, Cedar Point built a roller coaster that is 110 feet taller and 27 miles an hour faster. If you ever need a dose of adrenaline, and Top Throw Dragster is your cure. Because this intimate accelerated coaster features a T-bar restraint that really adds to the whole intimidating factor. Since there's nothing going over your shoulders to restrain you. Plus, the open air trains really make this coaster even more special. There's no better view on any coaster in the world than when you're going over Top Throw Dragster's top hat. And finally, the Oh boy, final one! Number one! Located at Six Flags Great Adventure. I've seen this one before. 456 feet, length 3,118 feet, speed 128 miles an hour. 128? Just two That's so years, fast! The Point built Top Throw Dragster, Six Flags Great Adventure opened King to Ka, which to this day is still the tallest roller coaster in the world at a height of 456 feet. While I personally prefer Cedar Point's Top Throw Dragster over King to Ka, this is still a great ride. Is there something about getting lost I agree. at 28 miles an hour in just under 4 seconds that I love? So how tall is King to Ka? 
Well, going over the tallest park Very park tall. during night rides, you can see the lights from Atlantic City, Philadelphia, and New York Bro, City. it's so That's dark. Not crazy. We have seen roller coasters break the 200 foot, 300 foot, and 400 foot barrier. But will we ever see one break 500 feet? There is one coaster out there that, if built, will become the tallest, fastest, and longest coaster in the world. What? Falcon's Flight, located at Six Flags Kadea. Featuring a height of oh my god, 2.5 miles speed. What the heck? Five miles an hour. It is manufactured. Wait, by what was that speed? Miles speed, 155 miles an hour. It is huh? manufactured by Intimate. That's so this fast. That still need to fall for this coaster to be built and open with the park. In Dude, and honestly, that is so fast. Feet, I don't know if it even happen or not. And I love how you're going going to a mountain. That is so cool. So will Falcon's flight actually get built? And would you ever ride a 500 foot tall coaster? I am never riding that one. No. No. Coasters. Be sure to give this video too scary. Theme park prediction subscriber. If Falcon's flight doesn't get built, then what parks out there right now could potentially build a 500 foot tall coaster or build the world's tallest coaster? Breaking Team to Cosmo. Bro, that tunnel looks so cool. Cedar Point, some park in China. What do you think? You know what to do. Let me know in the comments. I do, however, predict that King to Ka will no longer be the tallest roller coaster in the world come 2030. Well, that wraps up 2030? The tallest roller coasters in the world as of 2021. As always, Thank you so much for watching. Stay positive, be happy, and keep riding coasters. So which one would you pick? I would pick number eight, because I would really love to ride that coaster. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. And as always, peace.